Um, hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tim, Tim Randall, uh, from Lynx Magazines, uh, and I'm with Jana, who is the manager of The Bid uh, in Tavistock. And uh, we've come into the churchyard uh, under a tree um, to, uh, I, I thought to get a bit of quiet, but actually it's quite noisy under here as well, actually. Um, but it's a beautiful day in Tavistock. It's beautiful, uh, plenty of people around, hustle and bustle. Um, but we're just going to talk about Tavistock uh, from the bid's perspective. Uh, and, and this is Jana. So Jana, you're the, you're the manager of the bid. How has the town been since we, we opened up again? after the lockdown? So predominantly the town has been pretty busy, footfall has been pretty good, it is up and down um, so there are times when when town is quieter um, so I wouldn't say that it's been you know a, a brilliant start but it's certainly been you know an encouraging yes. start since we've reopened yes. um, and you know I really think there's every reason to be optimistic about yes. Tavistock you know we have an incredible amount of community support um, people really, really value their high street, um, and I think you know lockdown has made people look more closely at what what's on offer and what it, what a high street brings to the community. Yes. So, so really, I think there's reason to be optimistic. Yes, yeah. I think from my perspective, it's been busy. I mean, half term I thought was you know it was rammed. I mean, you couldn't get up Plymouth Road for the traffic. <laughs> um, and also, you know, obviously with Links magazines, we have advertisers, we have traders that deal with us. And I get the feeling that they are busy, but some perhaps, you know, need more of a boost than others, perhaps, I don't know. Um, but generally, I think we're pleased with the way it's going and the future looks rosy and looks good for Tavistock. I, I really think it does. You know, I spent a lot of time talking to other bids in the area and I know certainly city centre bids don't have such an optimistic picture to paint. Yes. You know, they are struggling more with business closures and that kind of thing. I think, you know, thankfully Tavistock it isn't in that same situation yes. so we, we really can be thankful for that yes. and, and hopeful you know this summer we've got the the opening of the guild hall which will be an amazing yes. thing for the absolutely. town um, absolutely you know that's really going to put us on the map in very many different ways so yeah. yes i do i do believe fingers crossed as long as the roadmap to come, yes. coming out of this continues yeah you know we, we should be okay and we've got i mean those independent traders we've got such a variety of independent yeah. traders that you don't find in other towns well, that's think. it, you know, we're 75% independent, which yeah. is remarkable, you know, and people do love coming to Tavistock for that very yes. reason, so that's something we need to celebrate, that's why, you know, we do the things like Fiverr Fest, which is on this week, Yes, you yes. Know, it's a celebration of independent businesses, yes. which is what really makes the town so special. Brilliant, okay. Now, we're also here to talk about the bid. Um, just explain to us very briefly what the bid is. Right, so the bid is a business-led initiative. Um, it's a, a specific geographical area of town um, that encompasses the businesses within it. Right. All of those businesses pay a levy, yes. which is then, it's essentially a pot of money that goes towards initiatives within the town, uh, new projects, the Christmas lights, the hanging baskets. So every single business within that geographical area pays into the bid yes. and that money is then spent on improving the town environment yes. and increasing footfall and all yes. of those kind of things. Um, you, you started a list there but just give us a quick list of the kind of things that people may not realise the bid does. So you mentioned Christmas lights for yes. example. What, what else does it do? So um, you know this last winter we put those lights, those beautiful lights in the churchyard so that was a new thing beautiful. that we, that yeah, we started lovely. doing um, and hope to continue to do. We fund the hanging baskets yes. throughout the town and we contract the town council to water those for us. Yes. Um, we manage Visit Tavistock, which yes. is the town's destination marketing tool. So we manage the official town website, the town app. Um, we do all the town marketing. Yes. So anything, anytime you see an advert, um, it would have been done by the bid yes. um, and therefore paid for by the businesses yes. that, that make up yes. the bid. Um, we fund Dickensian Evening, which is you know Absolutely. a great event big, in big the town. Event, yeah. And we do a lot of other little events, you know, Paint the Town, which is the, the town, the kids' gardens kids, in yes, windows. Yes. Um, so it's all about sort of getting the community to focus more on right. the high street um, okay. and to, to appreciate the value that, right. that it brings to the community. Okay. One of the so a huge amount happens because of the bid, and it's probably true to say that actually a lot of that wouldn't happen if we didn't have the bid. So the bid now is up for re-election. So every five years, you are up for re-election by the, the businesses that are in your area yep. who vote whether to retain you yes. or, or not. 
Exactly. Uh, and that's about to come up in uh, uh, July, I think, isn't it? So actually, the ballot papers are going to drop on doorsteps tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, right. Um, businesses have received their business plan, which details everything we've achieved since the bid's been in in for the last 10 years, actually. And then it lists all the projects um, that we we do and any new ones that we're proposing for the next right. the next five years. So that's gone out to all your levy payers? That's gone out to every levy payer. Um, every levy payer um, will receive mm. a ballot um, and they have a month to vote. Yes. It's a simple yes or no vote. Yes. Um, it's a postal vote and then those will be counted and we'll know the results on the 19th of all July. Right. And let's be blunt about this. If, and I'm, I'm sure it won't be the case, but if the bid is not voted in, what happens to that huge list that you just mentioned there about, you know, the hanging baskets, the Kensian evening, the lights? What happens to all of them? Our fear is that they just would cease to exist. Yeah. You know, there is no other organisation that would be able to pick those up. You know, the finances involved in some of those things. Um, you know, Dickensian evening, we fear, would just not be the same, even yes. if it existed at all. Hanging baskets more than likely wouldn't happen. Mm. Um, the Christmas lights, um, we own those, but once they fail, they, break, they wouldn't yes. be replaced. replaced. Yeah. Um, the Christmas lights in the churchyard wouldn't happen. You know, there's a whole host of things. Like the marketing of the town just wouldn't happen. Yes. No, nobody else has a budget to be able to take that on. And, you know, we really believe, part, you know, for bid three, we're really keen on pushing the town. Yes. You know, yeah. it has so much to offer. Yes. Um, for so many different groups yes. of people yeah. and that's going to be a real focus but nobody else would have that budget so right. you know it's really important okay. if the town wants to keep thriving that yes. the bid's there to help it All do right. so so if if you're if you're if you're just a resident in Tavistock, that's what's happening now clearly if you're a levy payer one of jana's bid levy payers then um really it's a it's a vote yes um but there you go, it's, everyone's got a choice. But I, I personally, as I, I also wear the hat where I'm chair of the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. And I do remember a time in this town when we didn't have the bid and a lot of this stuff did not happen. And when we tried to make things happen and when we tried to knock on doors and raise money for lights and things like that, it just did not happen. So the bid, in my view, is a great thing. And I really do hope that um, your election really, really goes well. So that's it. Um, sunny Tavisok, it's bustling, it's busy. I hope you heard some of this because there's a there's a drill over there going <laughs> hell for leather outside the Guild Hall. Um, that's going to be really exciting when that opens and yeah, can't wait for that. And that's it. Yeah. Thanks very much, Jana. No, thank it's you. Brilliant. And thank you very much for uh, for listening to us. Bye bye now.